Hello everyone. In this video, we will take you to explore bridge building iron monsters. These powerful machines help people significantly reduce time and costs in building impressive bridges that make everyone admire. Modern bridge construction often uses innovative construction methods to speed up the process. Techniques such as segmental construction, in which the bridge is built in sections, or balanced cantilever construction, in which sections are gradually extended from the bridge piers, allow for rapid progress while minimizing effect in surrounding areas. When it comes to technology as well as the current speed of road and bridge construction, China is always one of the leading countries in the world. We must admire that in this country, people have created many special machines to help people speed up the construction process. After the bridge bin blocks are completely cast, special cranes are used to move them out of the mold. After that, the crane will move to a special vehicle that will transport giant structures such as bridge girders and transport them to the construction site to assemble the bridge girders together. This special vehicle is designed to transport special items of large size and volume such as bridge girders. This is a means to help shorten time and improve efficiency as well as accelerate the construction process of highways and high-speed railway bridges in the shortest time. The vehicle carrying the bridge under carriage to the construction site and the crane will be responsible for receiving the bridge girder, lifting it, moving it, and placing it in the matching position of the two bridge piers. The process takes place meticulously to ensure project quality as well as safety factors during construction. At this point, a working session of the machine transporting bridge beams has ended. It returns to the bridge girder casting factory to transport the next bridge girders. The process of assembling a bridge girder seems quite simple when performed with the help of modern machines. But in fact, this is a step that requires extremely high meticulousness and precision. Construction seems simpler, but with large, long, and especially high bridges, installing bridge girders is extremely complicated and arduous. Because the bridge is both long and high, the bridge beams weigh thousands of tons, so their installation requires the mobilization of super-powerful machines, and the workers directly involved in the construction must be highly concentrated to avoid serious errors. regrettable and can lead to unpredictable consequences. How will people assemble a giant bridge? Normally building such giant bridges will cost a lot of time and human effort, so to speed it up. During the construction process and optimization of costs and resources, Engineers have created a super machine capable of building giant bridges in just a few days, lifting bridge girders or objects weighing up to 900 tons.
After that, we will use a pneumatic structure that carries the first pillar to slowly move to the second stage and place the concrete beam down between these two pillars accurately. The next bridge beams will perform with similar steps, although this stage requires less labor than the Iron Monster Crane Bridge, still requires a team of engineers to oversee the entire process as well as clean and maintain the parts. Destiny for yourself. In Montreal, Canada, briefly introduced, the maximum span of the bridge is 45 meters, the minimum span is 15 meters, the maximum longitudinal slope is 3%, and the span-by-span -span construction method will be used with a maximum total span weight of 640 tons. The other section is a double track section. The maximum section configuration is 3.25 meters long, 11.18 meters wide, and 2.57 meters high with a maximum weight of 60 tons. This is a specially designed fully suspended launcher. It is capable of launching segmental bridges with spans less than 45 meters with a suspension capacity of 700 tons. Includes main truss structure and hydraulic lifting system. System electrical system electrical system the support structure includes front leg middle leg rear leg middle leg rear leg lifting system includes a set of forklifts with a load capacity of 70 tons and a set of overhead trolleys with a load capacity of 10 tons which stroller is designed in such a way that the segment can be taken from the front. Spend launch for extended launch an additional pier support frame is required to support the rear center leg because the pier cap section that has not yet had the rear leg installed will not be installed after the full span launch is completed. Install the rear leg near the rear center leg and the support post on the deck the rear center leg moves forward and the support post on the main forklift deck moves the rear leg to the rear side and assemble into the main truss then the rear legs move away. Move the front support leg forward on the pier cap and support the rear leg on the floor to move the rear middle leg forward on the pier cap and support post. Then the front middle leg moves forward the front cap pier along with the pure cap support frame, then retracts the rear leg, the main truss moves forward to position then the rear leg moves forward the launch of the head fan be completed during the launching process, the position of the main winch vehicle and overhead crane shall be adjusted accordingly to ensure safety against overturning of two small spans so that small span launching of two or more spans can be completed according to sequence for a self-launch as shown launch status with a distance of 24 meters. The Cessa horizontal catapult has the most modern equipment. The horizontal catapult is a specialized system that can assemble prefabricated beams up to 60 meters in length and weighing 130 tons in places like Barrancas and Canada's, places where other types of cranes are completely inaccessible. The system is fully equipped and placed in the initial position. The main beam is automatically launched to the first bridge end with the main support pillars at the position where the system prepares to receive the beam and begin the launching operation. Precast concrete beams from the production site are transported to the bridge by a tractor with dolly according to the construction process. From the bridge, the same truck running in reverse can put the key to the rear of the launch vehicle to start maneuvering. Once in position under the front winch of the launch vehicle, place the hook to lift the end of the prefabricated beam. In a common motion, the winch and tractor move forward as the other end of the beam reaches the rear winch position of the system, with the rear winch hook at the other end of the beam being raised. Once the beam has been raised, the truck tractor will be unloaded with the beam hanging below the main beam of the system.
The winch advances vertically at a speed of about 5 meters per minute, throwing the prefabricated key into the moving gap. To be assembled, to position the beam into the corresponding position, the entire system along with the hanging beam moves horizontally. The main supports of the system are mounted on a horizontal rail located at the rear end on pre-installed and internal beams. The front end on the head when the beam is in the correct position, the winch will allow it to support it on the head bench. Once all the beams have been assembled across the span, the system will be launched to the next span with help from supporters. Auxiliary, the system is supported at three points for self-launch. The brackets move along previously attached baselines, causing the main beam to advance vertically across the bridge as the front end directly touches the next end. It end is fixed. It is important to mention that supporting the secondary and main rear legs requires leveled wooden shims. This process is repeated until the assembly of all beams is completed. Same self-initialization and disassembly process for removal from the piece.